So Joanne Grauer featuring Lorraine Fever is a record that I picked up really early in my sort of days as a sort of collector, I suppose. And the other thing about MPS that I loved was the fact that it wasn't just that the German artists were great, but they always had interesting American artists. And, and, and with time, I realized that these are artists that might not have been able to get deals in America or they might have been out of a deal in America. So people like Alphonse Muzon made a brilliant record or two actually on MPS. Dave Pike made great records. Mark Murphy made one of his best records on MPS. So some of these sort of outside jazz musicians in America would find a home somewhere in Villingen. I mean, how the hell did you get from Los Angeles to the to the Black Forest? Well, Joanne Grauer was discovered and in America, I believe, by Mr. Schwer, and he thought, let's put this record out. And thank you very much for doing that. It's just one of those special records that fits the kind of DJ aesthetic of people like myself. And so it was a complete fresh discovery for me. It just looked interesting, had potential. But then when I got into side B, I just found gem after gem after gem. And Frog Child, the, the final track on side B, is a record that I've never stopped playing for 30 years. If I, if I think about the cover, yeah, the cover's good. The cover's really good um, with the lips and the piano. Um, but um, I think, no, to be honest with you, the, the reason I bought this record was because, well, I think MPS did have a part to play because the very first record I ever bought from a sort of thrift store in Normandy when I was a really, when I was probably 11 or 12 years old was the album Liberated Fantasies by George Duke. So I remember buying a Jean-Luc Ponty record, a DDA Lockwood record and a George Duke record and Nader Castro Percussion Brésilienne on this one trip. And each one of those records I still hold very closely to my heart and they're all very important records and so Liberated Fantasies by George Duke which is closely my favourite MPS record for sort of nostalgic reasons has been eclipsed by Joanne Grauer because that's an even better record for me because it's got even more killer tracks on it but at the end of the day I suppose those letters MPS were letters that I would look out for as I was just maturing my record collector sort of you know life